Good morning students. Today we will be continuing with our maths class. Now we have already completed till page number 96 in our last class. Today we will be continuing with page number 97. So let us start. Okay, now starting with this, this is already the revision of what we have done before, after and between numbers. Now, write the numbers before and after. Which number comes before 44, 43? And which number comes after 44? 45. Okay, students. So, this is your homework. Now, let me show one of the between number also. Which number comes between 50 to 154? The number is 53. Okay, students, so do this page in your homework. I'll just quickly explain what else is there. This is ring the bigger number. Which is the bigger number between 40 and 94? 94. So you have to circle it. Likewise, which is the bigger number between 29 and 88? 88. So you have to circle it. Students, I am showing you two two sums of all the questions so you understand. Okay. Now, smaller number. Ring the smaller number. Which is the smaller number? 46 or 68? 46. So, circle that. Then, 73 or 57. Which is the smaller number? 57. So, circle that. Okay. Then, uh, let us see the next question. Okay. Color the box with the biggest number red and color the box with the smallest number blue. See, four numbers are there in the box. Whichever is the smallest number, you have to color it blue. Which is the smallest number out of 76, 53, 35 and 36? Smallest is 35. See, students, I am circling it with the different colors so you understand which you have to a color okay and now let us see the biggest number which is the biggest number out of these numbers 76 so that you have to color red let us see one more which is the biggest number out of these that you have to color with the red biggest is 76 so color that then which is the smallest number that you have to color in blue? Which is the smallest number? 18. So that we will color in blue. Okay? Understood students? So see this page. This is your homework. I have explained uh, each question. I have done two to some so you can understand what you have to do. Okay? Complete this page. Now, let us see the next page. Okay. Page number 98. Let us see that. This is increasing and decreasing order. Now, let us revise this. We have already done this in first chapter. Let us revise. What is decreasing order? Decreasing order means biggest to smallest now see these numbers this is the question 29 37 39 and 21 decreasing order mein kya hota hai jo sabse biggest number hai. the biggest number we will write first and the smallest number will we will write at the last so which is the biggest number 39 out of these four 
39 is the biggest number. Then it is 37. Then 29. And the smallest number is 21. Similarly, what is increasing order? Increasing order means smallest number to biggest number. Humko sabse jo chota number hai, smallest number se start karna hai. Or end kaha pe hoga biggest number pe. Let us see. Out of these four, which is the smallest number? 56. Then in that order, which number is bigger than 56? 62. Then which is the next bigger number? 77. And which is the biggest number? 83. So this is increasing order. Now let us do, I will show you one more sum. See this number, these numbers are given. We have to arrange in decreasing order. That is the biggest number will come first. Which is the biggest number? 59. So write over here 59. Then which number will come? 55. So write in the second box 55. Then again which number will come after 55? 43. So we will write over here 43. Okay, before that 52 will come. So we will write 52. And then which is the smallest number that is 43 so that we will write in the last box yes and now we are in increasing order that means from the smallest number to the biggest number which is the smallest number 9 then which number is slightly bigger than 9? 19. So we will write over here 19. Then which number will come next? 9090. So let us write over here 90. Then biggest number is 91. Understood students? So we have to write increasing order and decreasing order. Decreasing order means biggest number to smallest number and increasing order means smallest number to biggest number. Okay, now. Yes, this is backward counting. Let me show you. What is backward counting? That is, you have to count in reverse. You have to reverse mein count in reverse. 75. What comes before 75? 74. What comes before 74? 73. And what comes before 73? 72. Which number comes before 72? 71. Likewise, one more sum we will do. 90, 89. Which number comes before 89? 88. So, we will write over here. Then, which number comes before 88? 87. Then, before 87? 86. So, write over here. Understood students? So here you have to do backward counting. That is you have to go in the reverse counting. So uh, students this uh, I have explained these two sums and over here these two sums also you have to do by yourself. So you get practice and you understand the method. Okay students we will continue uh, with this page in the next class.